determinacy, a structure can be called determinate if the equilibrium equation provides enough and sufficient condition for equilibrium. If all forces for a structure can be determined using equilibrium equations only, this structure is determinate, but if the unknown forces are more and can't be determined using equilibrium equations then this structure is indeterminate. In general we can determine if a structure is statically determinate or indeterminate by drawing free body diagram for a structure or part of it and comparing a number of unknown forces and moment component with number of available equation of equilibrium. For coplanar structures, we have three equilibrium equations, if n is the total number of parts, and r is the number of unknown forces and moment component then. If r equals 3 times n, the structure is determinate. And if r bigger than 3 times n, the structure is indeterminate. Statically indeterminate structure can't be solved using equilibrium equations, solving of a statically indeterminate structure by relating loads and reactions with slope and displacement at different point of structure, this known as compatibility equations, compatibility equations involve the geometric and physical properties of the structure. The figure here showing some examples of statically determinate and indeterminate structures. The first beam has three unknown reactions, we have two vertical forces and one horizontal force as shown in this figure. So R equals 3, the beam consists of one part so N equals 1. So R equals 3 times N and the beam is determinate. We can apply same principle for the remaining beams. For this beam we have 10 on no reaction, moment, vertical and horizontal forces near the fixed support. And two horizontal and vertical forces for the internal hinge. Hinge can't carry moment unlike the fixed support. Therefore R equals 10, the beam composed of three parts. So R is bigger than 3 times N and the beam is indeterminate. Four frames members are connected together by rigid joint, therefore we can determine if the structure is statically determinate or indeterminate by cutting of members into parts as shown in this figure. Forces at cut point should be counted one time only. This figure showing a bridge. This bridge consists of one span, this will have three unknown forces at both support. So R equals 3 and N equals 1. N is the number of structure parts. So N is equal 3 times 1 and the structure is determinate. This figure showing a bridge with two continuous span. We have three supports. For this bridge we have four reactions as shown in this figure. In total we have four unknown reaction. N for this bridge equals 1. Therefore R is more than 3 times N and the structure is indeterminate. If R is lesser than 3 times N, let assume that this bridge is setting on two roller support. So we have only vertical forces and no horizontal forces. So R equals 2 and it is lesser than 3 times N but if the bridge is seated on two roller, is it going to be stable? The answer is no because the bridge will be sliding because the horizontal force is not resisted. So if R is lesser than 3 times N, the structure will not be stable.